Another block hot, crooked cops, gunshots, another body drop. Grandma waiting at the bus stop. County jail letter in the mailbox. House shoes and sweat sock. He should braid the heads on the porch to get that extra glop. Addiction face and rock bottom. Pray she bounce back on top. American dream a night we have. Please make it stop. Neighbors watch in hell. Modern day dress, got swinging rocks. Black boy, white tank top. Baggy jeans, dreadlocks. Streaming of that drop top. Non stop Chinese spot. Let me get a black in my eyes. Now the gate liquor stores, project floors. And you really think this woman was waiting around for you all those years without letting somebody tap that ass? Lisa ain't say nothing about having no man. She damn sure wasn't acting like she had a man when I was there. And you were wrong for that. I told you, man, you always been hard-headed. I told you to chill, man. I told you, don't go run in that rumor's house like you still got a right to be there. You don't, motherfucker. Now, Lisa's upset and he's back to running the streets because he feels his mother betrayed him by letting your black ass in the door. You owe me a Sydney explanation. Now you got this man coming back in here like nothing ever happened, like... He's... He's your father, E. So what? That never seemed to matter to you before? Why now? And what about Mark? I need you to grow up. If you say you're gonna be here at 8, then be here at 8. If you can't be here at 8, then just call me. <sighs> Why are you always stressing me? I'm pregnant. Hey, look, E, man. I just want to talk, man. Let's go get something to eat. I wanted to get something to eat with you nine years ago. It's over for that. I just want you to leave me alone. I don't know how to do that, son. Yeah, you do. You're breaking my heart, E. Yeah? Now you know how it feels. See that rent man, he coming for me So I'm out in the streets at 3 in the morning No sleep, no break Time to get in, no time to play My sister needs some new shoes Trying to get a rent, this good school No handouts, I'm the man now Begging ain't in that plan now I'm tired of being a fan now Trying to be that man now Trying to ball, shoot and guard And never let another nigga fuck with ours I'm tired of seeing these projects Money broke, my mom's stressed I'm so vexed, shit never end Looking like the check stopped coming in Can't call in the niggas that I call friends, girlfriend just curse me out. Tell you, you kind of nice with it. Yeah, man. Hmm. Them damn you better than I thought he was, was but uh, brain, to get it. Yeah, too much anger. It's gonna hold him I'm back. Yeah, man, the world. Yeah, man. Hmm. Trust me, I've been there. I'm on my, I'm on my grind. I'm on my, I'm on my grind. I'm on my, I'm on my, I'm on my grind. Yeah. Yeah, that was fire. Look, man, we about to take a break, so come in and chill for a second, right? That was fire, baby. It looks, man. Mm. My bad for messing up. I'm just still writing, so. I <laughs> mean, you ain't got to worry about all that. Hey, uh, just a little second to talk. Yo, hey, hold on, homie. <laughs> Ooh, it's good stuff. <laughs> so, uh, what's up? You right? Yeah, man, it's... My girl told me she pregnant. Mm. I'm trying to focus, but that shit is on me. <laughs> Yo, that's what's up, man. Congratulations, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, you, uh, you all good with it, right? Yeah, it's trying not to end up like my parents. Me and my girl, we just argue all the damn time. Yeah, yeah, I, I can feel you on that. Let me ask you one thing, though, E. You love her? Of course I do. You gotta make that shit work. Besides, now you know we gotta get this paper, right? Being that you got a little one on the way, huh? Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I meant to ask you, um, Malik told me that your pops was locked up with my, uh... Father? Yeah, that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's more fucking world, you know? And he's still locked up, too. I think he ain't coming home no time soon. Damn. Yeah, see what happened was uh, one of his friends decided to rob a liquor store. 
shot and killed the owner. And this fool hops in the car with my pops. Now, my pops ain't know nothing about what's going down until the cops pulled him over. You know, he got 15 years behind that shit. And then he got into something else when he was locked up and what well, you already know. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Now I try to go and see him, but I true talk, man. That's, that place real fucking depressing. Besides, you don't really want nobody coming up there on the VI anyway. Yeah, I already know how that go. So, uh, you, uh, you visit your pops? Oh, I go see that nigga, man. Why not? He fucked our family up. I was just a kid, but I remember the cops coming and kicking in the door. He was up to corrupt money shit at his job. Turns out he was messing with the boss's daughter as well. Probably went down for that shit more than anything else. Ripped my family apart. I thought my moms would never stop crying. My sister had just been diagnosed with cancer. Last thing we needed was for this nigga to lose his job, his health insurance. My mom lost her job. We lost our house. Man, my little sister could have died. All because of him. Damn, man. Yeah, so I don't really mess with him. He home now trying to bend my A on some bullshit, but I ain't trying to hear it. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know it was really that deep. Sorry, I don't really talk about it much. No, what I mean is that I, I would have hollered at you when your pops hit me up about working with you if I'd have known all that. What? Yeah, I, I was going to tell you, but... He asked you to work with me? Hey, listen, man, relax. I don't know, I guess our, our, our fathers got tight when they was locked in the joint. So my pops hit your pops with my number and he hit me about working with you. That's it, yo, come on, man, where you going, yo? You gotta be fucking kidding me. That's why you got me here? Cause of that nigga? You doing him a favor, man? Fuck this. Yo. I should've known it was something. All of a sudden, you wanna help me get on. You, you serious, man? I wanna help you get on cause I, I think that you crazy talented. And that's the only reason I'm trying to help you You out. ain't helping nothing. You just in my fucking business, man. Yo, come here, man. Get the fuck off of me, man. Wow. Word. So, so it's like that? So you're just gonna walk out on what you said that you was gonna do? Oh, because you don't like the way you got here? And you walking around here mad at the motherfucking world like it owed you something. But it don't. You ain't gonna get shit the way you going right now. Come on, man. This ain't you, baby. Man, you ain't hard. That's right. I said it. You're not hard, E. You're just too arrogant to realize that, that you're scared. Not hard. See, there's a big difference. So look, man, I done been here out in these grimy ass, dirty ass motherfucking streets. And let me tell you something, homeboy. It ain't shit out there, you hear me? Nothing. Yeah, I done been mad. Hitting walls, cursing people out, walking around with a chip on my motherfucking shoulder. Please. I had to let that shit go. In order to get here. I had to let go. Or oh, all oh, that motherfucking anger. And that was your turn. 
You gotta let go. He, just, just let that shit go, man. Okay, you right. And that's my bad on how this whole thing went down. But all everybody trying to do is to help you out, man. Including your father. Stay out of my fucking business. This is Benjamin, Sydney and E's father. From her husband. Listen, goddammit, don't wait, wait, come wait, here wait, with wait. this shit! Your Benjamin? Wow. I'm Mark. Lisa didn't tell me you were out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm home. Why are you here? I'm here to talk to you about Sydney and E. I can't make them talk to you. Especially E. He does what he wants to do. He's grown. It's his decision. Look, look, look. Why don't you come upstairs, huh? This isn't a place to talk. Like I said, I didn't know you were out. We, y'all, should talk upstairs, not here. What are you doing? Lisa, I know you're upset. But you can't possibly be surprised that I'm trying as hard as I can to reconnect with my children. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How many times did I bring your children to see you and you refused? How many times, Benjamin, did Sydney and E write you and you barely, if ever, responded? Now you want to force yourself back into their lives? I can't let you do that. Baby girl, you're right. But you have no idea what prison does to people. You have no idea. I didn't want my children seeing me caged up like some animal. Can I get that much decency? Huh? Most days, most days, Lisa, I didn't know if I was gonna live or die. I didn't want anybody seeing me like that, especially my family. They feel betrayed by you. You feel betrayed by me? God damn it, Benjamin! Look, 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 let's just calm down and just talk, all right? Yo, man, this has nothing to do with you right now. I just need to talk to my wife. Just give us a second. Are you please. fucking serious? Your wife? Yeah, clearly you lost your mind. If you think you're gonna come up in here and claim a motherfucking thing, because you're not. I've been here! So I suggest you show a little gratitude for the man who loves Lisa and your children, whether you like it or not. Don't come in here with that shit. You don't have the right to even raise your voice Mark. in this. Mark. I didn't know Lisa had moved on. 
this is hard to accept because when we saw each other recently... Benjamin, I am not ready to talk about any of this. I need you to respect that. I need you to stop following me and popping up on me and showing up where you think Simeon E will be. You have to give us time. I'm sorry, Lisa. I've been away for a while and it's obvious everybody went on with their lives, but you know before I went in, you, Sydney, and E, y'all were my life. But yeah, I understand. My bad, man. I'm sorry about all this. Sydney. Hi. Benjamin, you should probably go. Babe, let them let them talk. Give them some time. It's okay. It's up to Sydney. It's okay. Young lady. Thank you. <laughs> How tall are you now? Five seven. Five seven. Yep. Wow. <laughs> You're tall. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm six two. Wow. <laughs> so high school. It's okay. Just okay. It's boring. I'm not learning anything I really need. So mm, yeah. Sounds like you know what's really going on. I have a plan, so I have to tolerate it, get into NYU, and I'll be good. Oh, well, sounds like you have an idea of what you need to do. I do. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Sydney, I know um, I know it's hard with me coming back home and all, and, and I understand that. I'm not trying to pressure you or anything. I just, uh, I just miss you and E, and I want to be in, the, in your life as much as I possibly can. I'm glad you're here. You glad I'm here? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Sydney, that's the most beautiful thing I've heard in a very long time. A very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey. How was your day? Okay. Mad tired. I called you like seven times today. You know I don't get good reception to hospital E. So why didn't you call me when you got out of work? I was gonna call you, okay? I just wanted to get home first and relax. What's so important anyway? What's so important? Kim, you're carrying my child. I think I should be able to know if you're okay or not. Hey, come on, we barely spoke since I told you I was pregnant. We haven't even spoken about what we're gonna do about it yet. Well, do about it? What you mean do about it? Hey, you really think it's a good idea that we go through with this pregnancy? I've really been thinking about it. And I'm trying to finish school. You're in the studio a lot. And I don't know, I just, I just don't know if we should. What's that? I love you, Kim. And there's nothing more I want in this world than for you to have our kid. 
I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you. You're barely here. I mean, how are we gonna be together if you're so preoccupied with everything else? All that will change. But, mm. Listen, Kim. You don't know how hard it's been having my father just pop up like this. I know, and I don't want you to try to run from that pain and feel better about building a family here. That's not what I'm doing. I'm here because I want to be here. I'm here because I love you. E, I do love you. Then give me a chance. That's all I'm asking you. I'm begging you to give us a chance. I need you. Hey, what's in that box? It's nothing. No. Kim, you are making this so hard. God, let me do it right. Well, hurry up. I thought you were just kicking me to the curb. Yeah, <laughs> but you convinced me. That fast? Yes. Yes. Kimberly Nicole Fitzgerald. I can't wait to change your last name to Boyd because Fitzgerald is whack. <laughs> Will you please marry me? Yes. Benjamin Eric Boyd Jr. I will marry you. Ah, you know you're the only one that get to call me that, right? Good. <laughs> Look at this smooth motherfucker. <laughs> Dark motherfucker looking like Don Cheeto up in here. <laughs> Don Cheeto gonna have to sit his little ass down now. <laughs> Because Benjamin Eric Boyd is hey. coming back. That's again. right. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Step up to the plate. Get a good look at yourself. How you doing, man? I'm all right. I really don't know what to expect, though. What? Don't worry about it, man. <sighs> you live in the moment, brother. Yep. You live in the moment, man. Yep, that's all I can do. What? Six and walk the rest, you know. You want? I can drive you. No, I'll be fine. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Go on my own too. Need some time. Mm -hmm. Figure out how it's gonna go in my head. You That's know. That's right. That's right. Well, turn around, man. Let me let me get a good look at you. And that's time. Smooth. See, you still got that old tailor, European cut. I'm just happy I can still fit in this thing after so long, man. <laughs> I didn't drink sodas, and I ain't touched the sugar water, man. I just drank water and worked out. You so know? you're in fighting shape? Fighting shape. Ready to go? All day. That's what we do? Let's do it. Are you ready to get out of this piece of crap? I don't know what the fuck this is. Shit motel, halfway house, I don't know. Mm. But you damn near insisted on riding in. No, nah, man, I ain't insist on riding in here. I'm ready to get the hell out of here, brother. You gonna be cool with that? Yeah, I'm gonna be all right. You sure? Yeah. Because if you need me to go with you? Nah, nah, dear. I got this, brother. All right. Let's go. Yo, D. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, brother. Oh, man. I couldn't have did it without you, man. We brothers, man. 
for life, man. That's right. The wound to the tomb. <laughs> That's right. Good word. Now, yeah. Shall we get the fuck out of here? We should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Mark, what are you doing? Why are you going through my personal things? So you're just gonna sit there? What do you want me to do? What do I want you to do? I want you to tell me what the hell's going on, Lisa. Nothing is going on, Mark. So you mean to tell me you don't have enough respect for me? For our relationship? Hell, even yourself to be more honest with me, Lisa? Why are you going through my thing? How the hell else am I gonna find out what's going on, Lisa? You don't talk to me. Talk to you. You haven't even been here lately. Why are you acting like our lives didn't just get turned upside down? I know they have. And I've been trying to tell you that I'm with you. Oh. <laughs> so you with me now, huh? Huh? I've asked you repeatedly about your feelings for this man and you deny them every step of the way. I didn't find out from you that he was home. I didn't know you was writing him heartfelt letters since you've been with me. I didn't know shit. How you think that makes me feel? Mark, look. I didn't expect any of this to happen. <laughs> Benjamin and I lost contact some time ago. He just stopped responding to my letters. He stopped responding to Sydney and E. I didn't expect him to end up back here on our doorstep trying to put his family back together. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. That's what I would do. But I'm talking about you, Lisa. Why are you not being straight with me? Look, I'm not asking if you still love him. Because I know you do, I expect that. What I'm asking is, are you over him? What I'm asking is, if you consider going back to him, because if you have, I can't be here. <laughs> you know what? Your silence, and your awkwardness, it says a lot. And I think I got my answer. Mark, wait. What the hell is this, Lisa? You don't want me to leave, but you can't answer my question of whether or not you over this man or not? What do you want me to do with that? Sit around here and wait for the inevitable to happen? And what is that, Mark? Lisa. I've never seen you like this before. This man coming back into your life, it has done something to you. Of course it has. What do you expect? I expect the truth. The truth, Lisa. Look, I'm trying to be here for you. And with you. But you gotta give me something to work with here. Mark, I love you. I don't doubt that. But I'm asking you again. Are you over Benjamin? The last thing I wanna do is hurt it's you. It's too late. I just need some time. You 
know what, Lisa? Take all the time you need. 